Hey, what's going on, family? Thank you for checking out this podcast snippet. If you like what you hear in this snippet, you can tune in to the full podcast episode by clicking the links below in the description. Thank you. And until the next time we hop on the podcast together, shalom. We're not ignorant to Satan's devices, even though this may be to some people on a small scale or not that big a deal. Best believe it's just it's just like when you see the mass shootings, you see one and then you see another, then you see another. Listen, this is not going to stop here. People are going to start to come out and be more blatant about their worship for Satan, about their belief in Satan. And we have to make sure that we're not acting like this isn't nothing like there's no big deal to it because it definitely is a problem. But we understand why these individuals are doing what they're doing because they are under the influence of Satan. Second Corinthians four verses three and four says, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost in whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. So we know that the scripture says, in whom the God of this world, those that are lost, the God of this world, which is Satan, have blinded the minds of them which believe not. So those that are that do not believe in Christ, their minds have been blinded by Satan. If you don't have the word down on the inside, if you don't have the spirit of God, if you don't have God leading you and guiding you, you will be subject to the influence of Satan. And that's something that we have to understand. So when we see rappers talking crazy and we see actors talking crazy and doing wild things, doing demonic things, no matter who they are, we have to understand that's because they are lost and that they are under the influence of the God of this world. And this is his world. And that's why it's going to get worse and worse. This system belongs to him for the time being until God returns and destroys them. But this is the thing that we have to understand that if you are saved, if you love Christ, if Jesus is your Lord and Savior, you have to remember that you are just a pilgrim and a stranger passing through. This world is not ours. Stop trying to save the world. Stop trying to pray that the world be a better place. It's not going to be a better place. It is going to keep going down, down, down. And that's not uh, uh, and that's not negative talk. That's just a reality, according to the scriptures. But the beautiful thing about it is God still keeps us in the midst of all that. He still keeps us safe. He still keeps us grounded in his word. We are still able to have fun and enjoy the things that he's given us, our family, our friends, you know, whatever it is that he has given us while we're here. But at the end of the day, we have to understand where we are. We are in a dying world that belongs to Satan. So the, the things that we're going to see in this coming future on television, from neighbors, from friends, things that we didn't think that we were going to see. It's going to be shocking, but it should not be surprising because Satan is the God of this world. And all of these individuals that don't believe in Christ and that don't claim Jesus as their Lord and Savior, they are under his influence one way or another. And think about how this could affect the children that's been following little Nas X. Think about it. He released Old Town Road, which sounds like a nursery rhyme. You know, it was a cool song to sing. Everybody loved it. Everybody had a good time every time it came on. The kids loved it. You know, he released a children's book, you know, January of this year. Now, think about this. He released a children's book this past January. What are we in April now? And just three months later, he releases this video and these sneakers. You know, Satan worship is going to become more in our face. A lot of it in the past has been subtle and subliminal, the movies, the music. But watch what I tell you is going to be more in our face. But look at how dangerous this is. Look at how many people exposed their children to his music and to his book. And listen, this is not to fault them because, you know, it's understandable why people like the song. It's understandable about the children's book, because as far as I know, I haven't read it or listened to it. I don't think it said anything in there demonic or crazy or dealing with homosexuality or whatever. But the, this is the unfortunate thing about the world. 
is that people that are in the world, when it is all said and done, they're going to do what is best for them. They're not worried about our children. They're not worried about our faith. They're not worried about where we stand. And you know, this goes for those of you that are listening that are not saved. And we pray that you get saved. Like, listen, understand that the world is dying and people that are under the influence of Satan, especially people that are committed, that have committed their ways and their lives to Satan, that have said, listen, Satan, I'm going to live for you. I don't want nothing to do with Jesus. You're the true God. They're really going to go hard. And we have to really protect our children. We have to protect our families. And this type of thing, yes, you need to speak out. If your children was exposed to, to his music, yes, you need to have this conversation about the sneakers. And, and hopefully they haven't even seen the video. The video is 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 craziness. It's is bonkers. It's sick. You know what I mean? But if they have saw it, if they're at that age, this is a conversation we need to have with them. Like my sons, you know, they don't know anything about it. They're 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 ten and and eight years old. So they, you know, they're not even thinking about none of that. They they don't know anything about the video or whatever have you. But if they were at an age where they knew of these things, or you know, I would have to sit down and talk to them. Like yo, listen. This is not a good thing. This is not going to end well. This is not a joke. This is not something that can be taken lightly. Like, ah, whatever. It's not a big deal. No, it is a big deal. And this is nothing against this young man. I pray that at some point in his life, he finds deliverance. He finds God. But the scary thing about it, listening to him and watching some of his videos and, and little interviews and stuff like that, it seems like he has made a commitment to Satan, you know, and when it gets to that point, it's a very hard thing to break, but we know nothing is impossible for God. So as long as he's alive, there's opportunity for him. But obviously he's going to have to want that when he has the opportunity to come to the Lord, when somebody is ministering to him, hopefully he's not kicking against it or spitting at it or saying crazy things about the Lord. Because a lot of times when people get to this place in their life, when, when they're really hailing Satan in this manner, you know, unfortunately, sometimes they, they're way gone. But like I said, we know that for God, all things are possible. Anybody could be saved. We have many testimonies of people that were devil worshipers, that were in the occult, you know, that are saved today, that were doing, you know, uh, black magic and voodoo and, and all types of things. And God saved them. So we know that it is not impossible for this young man to be saved. And I want to be clear on what I'm saying, too. I'm not saying that he made this song and then the children's book intentionally to draw them into what he's doing now. He may have not, he may have had good intentions, but this is the thing about when you are under the influence of Satan, he knows exactly what he's doing. When you are under his influence and he is using you, he knows exactly what he's doing. It's the same way God uses us. Think about the times where God used you when you didn't know he was using you and then it worked out for somebody's good or something happening like, man, you know, God had all of that set up. I, I didn't even know why I had said that. And then later down the road, you realize because it needed to be said and God gave it to you to say, you know, to play into something that God was doing and working at the time. It works the same way with Satan. So even.